the world is changing fast. Before the year 2010, in big cities globally, most of the older generation, they were probably still using mobile GSM phone. Fast forward, nowadays, especially in this pandemic situation, most of them, even in the smaller cities, are communicating with their children and possibly grandchildren via video call on WhatsApp, maybe. And who could have thought that? Besides communication, for mobility, just imagine in 2008, if we were traveling from point A to point B in big cities as a tourist, it will be very hard to travel without a car or maybe renting an expensive hotel. So, but now, fast forward, fast forward again, we have Uber and Airbnb. They even have the word Uberization to depict the rapid growth. And whether we realize it or not, we are in the future. The fourth industrial revolution has been widely discussed in recent years. It listed a lot of elements that have the word future written all over the place. Autonomous vehicle, robots, virtual reality. Everything is automated and everything is changing. According to a 2016 report by the World Economic Forum, 65% of the jobs that will be available in the future have not existed yet. Is it scary? Maybe. With all of the ever-changing world elements, the question is, are we ready? Yes, maybe if we are coming from the privileged part of the world, we can firmly say that we are ready. But let me paraphrase again. Is the world ready? How can we make sure that there will be no child left behind in this new uncertain future rat race? I've been lucky enough to spend most of the last decades working in the cutting edge technology of the fourth industrial revolution. And I've also been fortunate enough to know a lot of experts in this wide arena. However, working at the forefront of technology, I've realized that my core expertise alone is not enough. Autonomous vehicle product software development, that is my professional field. And for me, to survive and thrive and basically prosper in this field professionally, my fundamental expertise alone it's never enough and never will be enough. I need to adequately possess the knowledge and understanding of all of the freshest cross-disciplinary skills that are available in the market. Agile, what is that? Change management, what is that? And even version control, what is that? Again, my core expertise alone is never enough. The fourth industrial revolution not only has changed the landscape of the technology, in fact, it also has disrupted vastly the career landscape associated with the related technology. And to survive in this topic, we need to constantly challenge ourselves with the required skills. But again, how? And coming back to the question and the topics that to prepare the future generation, are we ready? Do we have good plans for them to face the uncertain, uncertain, ambiguous, and basically ever-changing landscape? And the key and answer here, I believe strongly, lie in the word education. But what kind of education? So as we are developing future technology, we also need to educate, nurture, and train the future generation. In other words, education needs a changing too. And unsurprisingly, Finland 
has a solution that I believe is worth being told. When we are talking about modernization and developed society, what do we understand and think about? Skyscrapers, tall towers, mega highways, mega malls. I've been traveling to more than 25 countries and I have lived in four different countries as an adult. And I disagree with the previously mentioned suggestions. Believe me. For me, it has to be something with education, about the people, about the human values. Because mega malls alone could not promise happiness. And having skyscrapers in one city does not ensure people's security. And it was around end of 2017 or early 2018 when I decided to look for new journey of my life, professionally and maybe spiritually. I was personally not sure where to go, but in the back of my head during that time, my main notion was to seek for continuous education and growth opportunity. A couple of offers were received from different companies and different countries. But I decided not to, not to proceed and continue my search until at one point I got an opportunity to work in a Finnish-based company. And the first thing that popped up in my mind when discussing about this northernmost nation is the good quality of education. Finland keeps appearing in the global top education chart but what does that mean? I was not sure about that myself during that time, of course. After almost three years living in Finland as a professional expatriate, I believe and I think I have enough credibility to answer the question and provide examples why Finland is considered to have one of the best education system in the world. The point that I want to stress now is on the lifelong learning, the hidden gem of Finnish education system. In this speaking slot, I would, like, I would like to briefly share about Finnish education from the perspective of working expatriate, where one of the important features is lifelong learning. And as you can see, as a consequence of having such quality of education, from the outsider's perspective, which is me in this case, I witnessed an honest and highly trusting society, as well as a good grasp of knowledge throughout its citizens, while still maintaining the local Finnish identity. A lifelong learning, a lifelong learning is one of the keys to this achievement. By enabling a continuous learning opportunity for the public with low or no cost, regardless of the backgrounds or origins or gender, or maybe class, are the best way to educate the masses. The education is also free for Finnish residents. For example, the existence of a Finnish Open University of Applied Sciences concepts allows one to have a continuous education with the intention to improve one's career without participating to a degree program. I've gone through several portals online which discuss about this uh, opportunity. And I found that there are a lot of courses which are affordable or even free, available for cross-disciplinary experts to learn. In my example, since I found this opportunity, I've been able to participate in a lot of courses that enable me to understand in more extensive way the software development life cycle, such as version control, quality assurance, agile development. And this might seem simple, but trust me, 
to be able to connect the missing dots at the back of your foot, inside your head, and straight away to be able to use and implement it in your professional life is really a big thing, if one asks me. And it is not just about technolo technological knowledge. But some browsing of Finnish lifelong learning, open courses will reveal that one can also learn about really interesting, but usually not really accessible topics, such as diabetes education and counseling. Yes, Finland managed to create an easily accessible lifelong learning system environment that allows varied topics to be studied by people from different backgrounds. And the great thing here, when I say great, it's really great, is it does not stress on the grading part. Instead, it is just for hunger to continuously learn. And this might not be a surprise for people who is inside the auditorium here, but for people abroad, by saying easily accessible. What I mean here is that it is for everyone and it can be participated even for the people with hectic scheduling time while maintaining the quality. And it's free, of course. Especially in the ever-changing world today, I believe this kind of opportunities and mindsets are the one that it will eventually help a country to build and sustain the talents. Subsequently, by having educated members of society, developed nation is formed. And unknowingly, Finland is actually building a really future-proof and robust economic model for its future with this lifelong learning education. And as far as I can foresee, these are the solutions to the ambiguity and dilemma towards the fourth industrial revolution that I was telling in the earlier part of this presentation. Summarizing, the Finland education system is one of the best in the world, not due to the, uni not due to the university rankings, not due to the university prestige, and so on but it is due to their ease of access and earthly notion. Lifelong learning here in this context is the manifestation of the epitome. And if we care about our next generation and their future, we need to support the effort for further investment in education. We need to invest in creating easily accessible education. And we need to invest in establishing a society that is eager to always grow via the lifelong learning effort. Finland showed a great example with its education system to the world. And I believe this success story should be shared throughout the world to inspire and aspire, thus subsequently contributing in building a bulletproof future for all generations, regardless of their background. And that's why I am here today. Thank you. Peace be upon you.